All right, great guy. Let's switch gears from golf to baseball. Today on social media, we want to know what's your favorite College World Series memory or what's your favorite part of the annual event? Join us on Facebook, search Morning Blend Omaha, and we're also on Twitter at OMA Morning Blend. Now, speaking of that topic, here's my favorite College World Series moment. Now, Warren Morris. Oh, oh, it still gives me goosebumps. Gandhi, right. Warren Morris, of course, going long ball at Rosenblatt for the walk-off win to give LSU the College World Series title in 1996. Were you there at Rosenblatt I wasn't there, but game? I do remember this. But the thing that's so amazing about it was that the, it was in the ninth inning. There were two outs. Right. And there was a guy on base, so they're down by one run. People were um, heading for the they were heading for the stands. Yeah, they well, were yeah. heading out. They I mean, figured this game it was, was almost over. over. He yeah. gets a hold of it, but he just he just rips it down the right field line, and I didn't I didn't know if it was going to get out. But it, I, I it have was goosebumps really... remembering what it was like inside the stadium um, because you know most people had already kind of written it off as hey this game's over it was kind of disappointing, and then uh, what happened is after the home run went out then you hear the announcer go. That was Warren Morris's first home run of the year. Yeah. And everybody went crazy. He had one home run. Right. That was his only home run of the year. Had an injury, and he I had, think. He had, I think he had like 76 at bats during that season. Yeah, incredible. That was his only home run. It was amazing. The odds of him doing that were next to none. And it was, that's why people are still talking about it this many years later and why it, it just takes me back to the moment. Yeah, What's your favorite really part? You love the College World Series. We both grew up in Omaha, so this this is our time of year. What's your favorite thing about it? I, I like the tailgating. Of course. <laughs> I'm like, no. I, Do you ever I, make it inside the stadium? I've, I, I've um, I had some tickets that I have gone unused because mm -hmm. I've been. Tailgating, but I like hanging out with people and getting to know, you know, like the LSU fans. Right. I really like the LSU fans, and and despite how I feel about the school, I like the Texas fans when they come up. Mm -hmm. They're really gracious when they come up here. Um, but you know, I just like the atmosphere around the stadium. And of course, when you're in the stadium, just kind of watching the game, and it's so relaxing and enjoyable. But um, I'm really looking forward to the College World Series this week. How do you feel about the transition? I'm a South Omaha girl. Like, my aunt lived two blocks, still lives two blocks from Rosenblatt. So this has always kind of been a part of, of my childhood. How Are, are you taking the transition okay? Because it's still a little rough for me from Rosenblatt to TDM. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of it's, it's bittersweet because I love Rosenblatt Stadium. But at the same time, you know, the city is growing and evolving. I'm not one of these people that's writing off the College World Series. Right. I know a lot of people in South Omaha, they say, I'm never going to another game again. You know, I understand that. But at the same time, I love the the event is great. And it's still it's still one of the, the best sporting events in, in in sports. Already great feedback on, yeah. feedback, or on so, Facebook from a lot of our viewers. Right. If you're so at the ballpark tomorrow, too. yeah, for the, new, for the team practices, and then there's the opening ceremonies as well. You'll want to stop by the Old Mattress Factory Bar and Grill there in Baseball Village. Another cool CWS event tomorrow night at the Old Mattress Factory. Yeah, eight different nonprofit groups will take part to support each team in the series. So each nonprofit group gets a team, and the MAP plans to raise each team flag along with the American flag, and they're going to fly them proudly on original Rosenblatt flagpoles. You'll see them there along the south end of the parking lot. Yeah, there's a special guest for the event, Alex Borstein, better known as Lois from the Family Guy. You can read more at omahabaseballvillage.com or look for the link on our website. And here's a reminder about this week's game schedule. There's Saturday's lineup featuring, of course, Texas, who's here all the time. Mm -hmm. Got and Louisville and Vanderbilt. And yep. then here's the games on Sunday. Ole Miss is going to be my team this year. But, of course, Virginia, too, with Brian O'Connor, the statue, the Creighton connection. So great games going up this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. I'll well, be I, there at some point, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be there as well. When I was a kid, I remember learning the importance of a good, firm handshake, right? You, you know, you get to get that right, real go. solid, yep. firm handshake. And are, are good manners a lost art? That's a question we're asking. Well, we hope not. And we'll get our own lesson from a local expert and find out how she's delivering a very courteous message to kids. So much.